Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Total War Attila. We're playing it on the Age of Charlemagne DLC as the Byzantine Empire, obviously being reforged from the theme of Sicily Faction. Now we have a battle in today's episode at Dublin. In the last episode, we invaded Ireland. It's going to be my island. <laughs> so um, I, too ha I have two of my best armies, but they have two rando generals simply because... In the last episode, um, my other family members, my other like generals, had a lot of influence. I think they had like a thousand influence between them. They were 60 years of age. They were going to die soon anyway. And I've got my family, uh, obviously, Leno, the Lionheart, who is now Emperor. We have Scholasticus, Martin, and then his family. It's just that, obviously, Constantine only had one son. But uh, the Irish have come out and attacked me at Dublin. We heavily outnumber them. Well, sorry. We don't heavily outnumber them. We heavily beat them with quality troops. As you look at the order resolve here, we have our large onigas, our cataphractoi, Cairo ballista, our shielded crossbowmen, obviously our, obviously our imperial uh, swordsmen, and we've got our Varangian guards. So here is the first army, a lot of spearmen, a lot of javelins couple of heavy sort of units. So these aren't that too bad of armies. It's just simply because of my units just are so much better uh, than theirs. But let's get stuck into the battle. The Battle of Dublin, 1802. I don't really know why. I don't know what, I don't even know what accent that was. It was sort of like a, a shitty Irish sort of Manchester sort of fucking accent. Oh God. And it is pissing down with rain. But let's get up the defenses. So we can see the enemy instantly. So, obviously, Dublin. I really like this settlement. Obviously, you can take up the high ground. So, we do have our reinforcements coming in. So, where do we sort of want to deploy de defending Dublin? Um, obviously, I think our best bet is actually putting the ballista up top sort of here. How's the range on these bad boys? Look at that. That's an insane range, that is. So we'll sit them up there. Uh, the Cairo Ballista. Probably here. Can't get them all the way quite out. That's not too bad. Just better get to some shots and over. I don't even know if I'm going to use any of the barricades because... Although the barricades are good for funneling in, it also uh, disables the ability to sort of hold choke points. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the majority of my host here. We'll go with a shield formation. So, okay, so I can't actually deploy them that low, loose. Okay, right. We have a lot of, you know, so I might even go four. Go like four, four. More not, apparently. Yeah, we got that. It's weird how this is sort of glitching out like that. Yeah, I like that. That should be alright. So here are my Byzantine men, loyal to the Empire, determined to reforge the Roman Empire. Right, so on this side as well, well we probably can't go with four, but we'll chuck two here. We should be able to hold. Right, crossbowmen can go here, and we'll chuck another two. I reckon the brunt of the attack's going to go here. However, I do have cataphractoi. Uh, which are absolutely spectacular. So, I'm trying to keep an eye on that army as well, though. So, I want these guys to sort of harass and skirmish as many of them as possible. Alright, so what have they got to sort of deal with? We might, we might even be able to take out their general unit. So, we're defending from this point and then from that point. So, how else can I sort of defend? Oh, just like, it's sort of an interesting sort of setup. So, we need to, we're going to have to put an army here. So, I reckon even, like, one unit of Varangian Guard will be able to hold that pretty well. We also do have reinforcements. So, just get my Varangian, Varangian Guard to hold off all the other sort of choke points. So, what does that leave us here? 
Uh, I'm gonna s leave these smaller units, which are basically worthless, to just go up here and hold the town square. There's no use for them. And I think I've sort of fixed up everything. We're gonna have a bit of a problem on this side if we're not sort of careful. But I think we've blocked all the points. I'm obviously not really used to playing in this sort of siege. Can they push up through here? They can. But I don't think they're going to flank all the way down there, are they? If they do, I'd be incredibly surprised. We'll chuck this other unit here. And we'll chuck this random general, probably, here. Um, crossbowman. I'm just trying to think where to deploy you. I don't know, but my crossbowman should be able to uh, should be able to remain on fire at will. My giant ballista here should be able to get a pretty good shot off. You'd think. All right, let's start the battle. We do have another barricade remaining, but yeah, just try to hit the guts in there. I wonder if I can get some shots off with my ballista. That's not too bad of a shot. Give it a minute. We might be able to hit one. Not too bad. Just a little bit more short. We need to wait for them to come in a little bit more. Alright, let's get my cataphractoi to aim for their general. My reinforcements are slowly coming in. So I want you to get, just get here as quickly as possible. Double time, you bastards. Alright, we're going to be able to... Go here. Get my Oniga to fire at the unit here. My swordsmen are going to be able to hold fast. I want to get a couple of shots off with the Cairo Ballista, because I think that would be absolutely awesome. There we go. Oh, maybe it was just a little bit... I've missed a lot of shots with them. Right, let's get my... ...units to skirmish. Go for their general. Get everyone else over here, though, as quickly as possible. What's happening on this right-hand side? We do have a... A sword unit. I might as well keep it. Alright, let's go for their general unit there. Might as well get these guys to actually just... Yeah, aim for the general. We get these two to aim for the spearmen there. Continue them to skirmish. All the general unit back there. Onigas, I want you to fire at... Nothing. Halt, disable, fire at will. Just need to keep an eye on these guys. How far can those ballistas shoot? Halt, probably too much friendly fire from what I'm liking. But yeah, um, get you guys to hit them. Get my archers to get the cataphractor. Come on, get some shots off, you bastards. Uh, they're getting shots off now. Alright, these guys are not doing very well. So fall over here, because we're about to have another battle on this left-hand side. Mind you, we're getting flanked here as well. Um, we've basically got two battles going on now. Um, we're going to have to fall this unit of Axemen further around. Yeah, basically just try skirmish as much as possible. Alright, what's happening over on this side here? Um, we can't pull everyone in, so... We'll basically just make a... We're going to fall back. We're going to make a line here. We'll make a defensive position. We'll hug the wall. Fall the general back. Cavalry wise, we could use them. We're not going to get caught here if we run through there, are we? Right, what's happening with this flanking sort of. Oh, fuck. I didn't see that. Right. Um, get the. Right, so it looks like they're completely ignoring that. No, oh, damn it. I knew there was a cavalry unit there, but I thought I had someone to sort of save them. Right, swing around. We're going to get flanked here if we're not careful. 
Right, get out of shield wall, go on this other side. How's my cavalry sort of doing? It's obviously hard watching these cavalry, but they sort of are skirmishing. I don't think they're going to get caught. Right, what's happening here? We've been engaged by a unit of cavalry with my swordsman. We just need to rally up and hold the line. So that Cairo ballista broke. I get my axeman to charge there. And get my Varangian guard to engage the swordsman there. Uh, how are we sort of going here? How's my cavalry going? Still skirmishing, of course. Fall you back this way. They are still skirmishing, which isn't too bad. So we've broken them there at the front. Alright, we've accidentally let them open here. The enemy general is dead. Swing this cavalry uh, sword unit back around this way. How's this other engagement going over here? Fall back with the cataphractoi. How are my men holding here? Pretty well, you'd think. In shield world, there's not much that's going to get them. Right through the fucking pelvis there. Right. Onigers, I want you to refire now. Aim into this cluster here. I'll get a shot off here myself. And then I will... That might be alright. I think it's going to clip the tree or the house. Beforehand. Now, what's happening over here? Okay, nothing too much. Right, let's engage. Let's swing it around and attack them. Because they're sort of just getting pot shots off at us now. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to swing around here now. Right, I'm going to get my cataphractoy and my general unit to go into melee mode. We're going to run down those onagers that are sitting back and firing at us. What's happening here with my cataphractoy? Run back. Hold the city there. What's happening here? We're going to get... Oh, shit. There's a pretty big fucking flank on that other side. Um, which I don't like whatsoever. That unit of Varangin... Uh, stopped. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly swing around and hit this. If I can angle it, or otherwise we're going to lose our ballista if we're not careful. Oh, we've got units here. Run down and attack them. Just run down and attack them. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two guys and swing them back. Get my crossbowmen. They're on fire at will anyway. Right, we've broken them. Get these axemen over here now. If we can swing around, I might be able to get some shots off myself. Oh my god. Please clip the rock and bounce off. Oh, nice. Oh, it's going to miss. This is pretty funny. There's little, like, little pot shots over the top. That's going to get someone at least. Got a couple of them. Nicely done. What's happening with my cataphractoy here now? Still running uh, to run them down. My melee infantry is getting rid of the onigas. Alright, get this army here now to swing around. Right, what's sort of happening here? I haven't really cared or even taken notice of my general. Because they are randoms. I don't give a flying fuck about them. Alright, my cataphractoy are doing pretty well. Just skirmishing that that, uh, Levy Spearman. Alright, what's happening here now? Those crossbowmen are getting engaged, which is what I don't want, so I want to get my... Go here, and we'll get these... Speaking of to run them down. What's happening here? Now, then. Alright, break this unit. Swing around and hit that. I might even get my general unit to swing around and hit the skirmishers. Okay, uh, what's sort of happening at the front line here? We're not buckling or anything. Uh, we're out of ammo with my onigas now, anyway. Alright, cataphractoids still have a fair amount of ammo. Let's swing this sword unit back around to hold, then. Right, what's happening here? Okay, well, let's hit them from behind. Let's basically just go straight in. Right, I had a unit of cavalry running down some units. That skirmishes. Right, it's not too bad. How are we going on this other side with the cataphractoid? Get the cataphractoid to hit that spear unit. 
We'll hit them. We'll hit them with my sword. You know, let's be a little bit more aggressive with these bastards. Crossbowmen, take aim. Make sure you hit your mark loose. Are right, a little bit glitchy. How are we going here? My front line is actually buckling under the immense skirmisher pressure. I might have actually lost a couple of units there. But, now, Cataphractoi, I want you to actually now go into melee mode. We're going to start running down those skirmishes. I didn't think we'd actually buckle that badly there, but we have. What's happening on this side? They're broken. So we have thrown back the Irish. Now, simply because they're attacking us, we're going to try run down as many of them as possible. So let's try and do that. So pick a unit. The more we can run down, the higher we can get those chevrons up, and the less we have to face on the field later on. So let's go straight in and get them. Can we quickly go over on this side? So let's start speeding things up. We managed to lose about 600 men, which is not so bad whatsoever. I'm really quite happy with that uh, performance, but we've thrown back the Irish at Dublin. A very nice battle. We haven't had a nice battle in a while. That last battle was absolutely atrocious. More of like a unit showcase. We haven't had that many sort of like huge land battles. Oh, we, we have, but I don't know. We're still actually, mind you, Maybe I'm being a little bit too, I don't know, critical. We've had some decent bit land battles. But mind you, this is only, what basically changed my mind is this is only part six or seven or something. We're barely even into this campaign, really. Once we go to war with Charlemagne and the obviously the triple alliance with Provence and whatnot, stuff's going to get uh, pretty insane. But yes, just trying to run down as many of them as possible. I might even get my cr my three units of crossbowmen here. Go with a slow motion shot. Try hit this last bastard. Oh, misty man. I don't even know the song. Whatever Pippin sings. There are many. Something to tell. In shadows. I don't even know. To the end of light. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even get the shot. I don't well. Oh my god, you got you got pretty well knackered though. All right, let's get a couple of volleys off here. Speed it up and then slow mow it. There are many. I don't know the song, so why am I even bother? But that music would be cool. Not copy. Yeah, that's the uncopyrighted version, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'd imagine that would be heavily copyrighted. That song. That's why it's, that's why I had to sing like that, man. It's uh, otherwise would have been copyrighted. Did I actually put it on melee mode? Did I? Yeah. So we're gonna get a point blank shot at them. Oh god. Take aim. This is like execution style. This is. Oh, God. Poor Irish. Alright, let's speed things up. There was a couple of nice, really nice shots in that, though. But we've absolutely decimated them here today, and that is not a... An over exaggeration on the word. We really have royally fucked them. Get some nice shots. And playing on max graphics, and it actually looks quite nice. Right, um, let's check out my sort of cavalry units. Most of. We've mostly run everyone down. Uh, there's one, there's a six unit here that we won't let get away. Awesome mod bringing the Byzantines to Age of Charlemagne. A decisive victory. 
We deployed 4,990 and lost 569 on the field. Cataphracti did a lot of damage. But uh, we're going to execute the remaining captives. Now, unfortunately, it was randoms that commanded that battle. We really would have liked the prince or someone, but we just... Okay, English separatists. Foreign trespassers. Who and where? Okay. Oh, finally, uh, Scalacticus. We can marry off to a good old Byzantine princess. Bring some more Byzantine blood back into the family. I'm quite happy to do that. So the... Okay. Angria has pushed over, but a decisive victory at the Battle of Dublin. Dovlin. I think it was called when the Vikings had it at some point. But uh, I'm not entirely sure. Don't quote me on that. It was something. It was close to Dublin. Right. Um, so this is my second army. So I want to give it to... Scholasticus. Scholas... Scholasticus. Got that name. Some of these names just get me tongue-tied. Right. Um, so we'll give him the... The weaker army. Um, but this is the main army. We actually lost a couple of troops. Alright, Leo is obviously the Emperor. What can we upgrade? His weapons and stuff. Ah, oh, fair enough. Right, so we have one unit missing. So what was... What did we lose? Oh, the unit of axes. Oh, it's the unit of axes. Oh, okay, right. Alright, well, how are we going for time? 21 minutes into the episode here. Um... Right, what's sort of happening? So we've taken the bottom half of Ireland. We're at war. We haven't quite finished off the Kingdom of Munster, but we're going to be able to take the entirety of Ireland. Once we've finished off with them, I might even take out the Kingdom of Kent. Obviously, I do have an alliance with Mercia, a blood alliance. We do have a claim to their lands. Wessex, no a marriage alliance. I'd much rather marry her off to... not King Oswald. We might go to war with Kent. We'll be able to take Canterbury, London, and Lynchfield. That will give us a good footmark in England. Obviously, the Duchy of Provence still occupies most of uh, southern Iberia. It's, got a, it's like kind of familiar of the triumvirate. <laughs> Obviously, with... Uh, I'm trying to think of their names. Octavian, Lepidus or Lepidus. Obviously, Mark Antony. Uh, who else was there? Pompey, down in... Uh, Sicily and whatnot, but uh, yeah, once we get rid of the Irish, I need to make a decision. Do I declare war on Charlemagne, the Kingdom of the Franks? Do I think I have a big enough kingdom? I would like the Bavarians to back me. If I can get a military alliance with them, that would be great. But uh, yeah, got a lot of exciting stuff to come. The Byzantines are occupying Ireland, but uh, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on my social media links, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, all in the description below. Go out and have a fantastic rest of your day. Make sure you take care of yourselves and stay tuned for more content on SimC Total War. Goodbye.